Military officials announced plans this afternoon to remove the P-8 Poseidon plane that's been sitting in Kaneohe Bay for almost two weeks after it overshot its landing at the Marine Corps base. Special equipment is now on island to complete the job. Bryce Moore has details. The plane is partially submerged less than 20 yards off the tarmac and shifted slightly last night due to high tides before coming to rest on the coral again. Officials say special roller bags have arrived on island. They'll first be inserted under the plane, inflated, and then used to roll the plane back onto the runway. The bag part creates buoyancy in the water, so it's inflatable, lifts the aircraft up, and then on land, that's where the roller part comes in. Um, they keep the aircraft separated from the land the aircraft will move on top of those rollers the whole time without the landing gear or anything touching anything until we set it back to, uh, down at the place where we want to uh, set it on the piano keys at the end of the runway. The military says there was minimal damage to coral in the bay, adding teams from the DLNR will conduct an independent in-water assessment where the plane currently sits after it's brought out. The Sierra Club of Hawaii says they're hoping the Navy is willing to compensate the state for whatever damage was done. Coral can take a very long time to recover. It takes decades to grow, and, and, and we can accelerate that process, but it, it takes resources, including you know money and people, and hopefully the Navy does the right thing and supports um, those kinds of activities. The Navy says it's contracted the work to private companies, and after it's done... Yeah, we have nothing to hide. We want everyone to come in. We'll take a look at the site and, uh, and make sure we understand what impacts we've had. DLNR observers saw a dead sea turtle this morning in between two barriers around the plane. The Sierra Club says the independent assessment will be critical since the plane is in an area that's usually restricted. Bowling, fishing, and so forth. Just the fact that public access doesn't regularly occur could mean that it could be a, you know, both a fragile and important habitat. Navy teams spent last week removing about 2,000 gallons of fuel from the plane and confirmed again today that there were no signs of leakage. Officials say if all the salvage equipment arrives on base as scheduled, the plane will be lifted as soon as tomorrow. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.